Hello everyone, my name is Stefan and welcome to my channel BD Nordic Vision. For those who don't know my channel, uh, my channel will be mainly talking about things related to Nordic, especially my life here in Iceland. Um, I have just checked online and it has been about 14 hours since I uploaded my first video and I have already got 108 views and 18 people who has already who have already subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. This would only encourage me to make more and much better videos in the future. So thank you very much. I appreciate it for that. Okay, let's back to today's topic. So today I will be talking about my first ever experience of volcano watching. Yes, that's correct. As you know, as you probably know, Iceland has been on the news a lot recently because of volcano eruption. That's correct. On 19th of March 2000 and 21 we um, it's about 9 30 p.m we have a volcano officially erupted that is in um, this area called gate in that is that um, is not far away from Grindavik. so and the the actual volcano that is that is erupted or that has erupted is called Fagradalsfjall. Please correct my pronunciation if I didn't do so well. So uh, you can correct my pronunciation down below in the comments. Thank you. Um, so it was, I remember I went there on a beautiful Tuesday afternoon around 4 o'clock p.m. Me and my friend, we uh, left Reykjavik and after one and a half hours, we're still on the way because there was a heavy traffic. So it was so difficult for uh, for getting us uh, close uh, to a parking lot that is closer to the entrance. So we decided to park a little bit further away. That is not actually that far from uh, Grindavik. Um, we walked about um, I would say around a eight or nine kilometers until we arrived to the gate of the entrance of the hiking track so that was actually quite a walking uh, but we were when we were on the way to the volcano at least I was very very excited and I was I wasn't feel so tired and things like that so when we started when we went into the track then we then we feel like a big difference for example the road is not flat and there's a lot of stones big or small stones on the track so you have to be very very careful and watch your way otherwise you would fall down um, I have saw quite a few people who actually fell down so just please be careful when you're walking on the tr on, on uh, towards the, the hiking point and then the the mountain the hiking point the hiking part some of the part was actually quite steep so you have to be actually very very careful you need to find the right spot to put your foot in and especially having a uh, hiking foot hiking shoes is very very helpful so i strongly recommend you to dress correctly if you are going for the volcano watching so um by the time we arrived at the place, it was about 9.30. So it was actually the, um, the best time because you see 
that the sky is turning from bright to twilight and then from twilight to darkness. So then you see how the erupted volcano transformed during this time. So that is something that just really, really amazed me. I remember the moment that I see that the, the lava is just flowing in front of me and I just can't really, really, I feel like I can't breathe. Not because I was shocked in a bad way, it's because I'm just really, really amazed that to feel how powerful the nature is. Um, it, was, it was about 50 meters, I would say, between the place where we sit to the lava. It can be 50 to 70, I can't remember exactly, but it was actually quite cold. I remember we went there the end of March, so, and it was a good day, but when you are on that place and that point, you actually feel very, very cold. And it doesn't matter if you're close to, if you're close to, um, to, to a erupted volcano. So, I strongly recommend a jacket, a winter, a good quality winter water and windproof jacket and a water and windproof trousers. That is also very, very important. So we, we stayed for about 40 minutes and we took some, some uh, amazing pictures and videos I would like to share somewhere here that you can see. Um, yeah, it was just really, really amazing. When we are on our way back, it was much more difficult than we thought. Because you were feeling excited when you go, but when you are on your way back, you are already exhausted. And thinking of when you reach to the, to the entrance and then you still need to walk for about another eight kilometers that is really 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 difficult so i was literally totally collapsed when i got back home about one o'clock a.m in the morning but this is definitely a once in a lifetime experience that i would strongly recommend and if you have never ever experienced the volcano watching or if you live in a country that do not that does not have volcano then and you could definitely consider to come to iceland for a volcano trip as a matter of fact from what i know now uh, i have some of my friends like from america they have already booked a trip to iceland for this volcano watching because this is so unique thinking of yourself having a once in a lifetime experience in a country that you feel so different from people sometimes say iceland is another planet i mean it's kind of true because thinking of yourself driving on this path that you have this lava land on both of your side you just don't really f you feel like you're lost in the nature and you feel like you don't actually you're not actually in uh, this planet and that feeling is quite unique that was actually how i feel when i first time came to iceland back in 2019 and thanks to my friend Anders, who has uh, given my um, giving me an experience of explore everything those things i will leave i would leave it for the future videos so but yeah that's definitely regarding my advice if you decide to come to iceland for volcano watching then i would definitely suggest you to get the equipment i'm mainly talking about the clothes you need to dress correctly for volcano watching and also the second advice that I would like to give is that do not uh, be too close to the volcano. 
uh, I saw some of the pictures that、um, people are actually baking things or、uh, boiling the eggs、uh, right over there that is next to the lab. This is very very dangerous. Of course, there's a rescue. There are rescue teams there, but they are not responsible for people doing such dangerous things. So I strongly recommend and suggest you to stay safe and travel safe. This is very very important. After, apart from that, then I would think that you would definitely enjoy the volcano watching. As a matter of fact, I see some people who actually do some fun things in front of the volcano. For example, they're having their people.、Uh, Doing propose to their partner in front of the volcano, and also there are people making bands, making music,、uh, play music in front of in front of the volcanoes, and also there are people making TV programs in front of volcanoes. So definitely, I would say here in Iceland, Icelanders know how to enjoy the nature they have. So, if you have an Icelandic friend in Iceland, then I think that is the best. So, when you come to Iceland, then you know who you are. You are not gonna feel like helpless, because as at least you know someone local, and they will give you the best, the best, the best of the best advices. So. I think that would be things that I will be that I'm、uh, that I'm talking about today. So my first volcano uh, uh, watching experience was absolutely fantastic, and I hope each one of you who are watching the videos right now and do consider. Come to Iceland for a volcano watching. I hope you get some information from this video. And if you like my video, please subscribe and、uh, put a thumbs up. And you can of course share my videos with to the people that you think they gonna need and enjoy my videos. Once again, thank you very much for your time and see you next time. Bye.